Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be filming a what's in my stash video and this time we are doing a wedding theme. So if you guys have been following along, you guys know I've been doing these videos kind of all year long and just spreading them out throughout the course of the year. I started in the summer last year and I'm going to keep going uh, up until the summer this year and then I should be done with everything. I did pretty much the holidays so far, so like Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, Easter, um, I did summer, 4th of July, um, Christmas, fall, uh, what else did I do? Um, Halloween. So I did, oh and yeah, I did those holidays and things and now we're kind of moving on to the non-holidays. So we have like wedding we got to do, we got to do baby, birthday, Disney, um, Maggie Holmes, um, I have a ton more in my stash of travel, um, manly, camping, <laughs> like there's so much more coffee, dog, cat, so much more papers in my stash and different themes. So we will get through it all. Um, it might be, uh, I don't know, Some sometimes I think some months might have two of these kinds of videos for me to kind of like finish and I tried to spread it out but I didn't do a good job because I didn't plan out the whole year in advance but I think some months might have one like every week I, I'm going to be posting like a what's in my stash video so we'll see um but yeah today we're doing a wedding theme and I have two bins of wedding and this is actually my second time filming this video because the first time I did not clean the camera on my phone so the whole entire video was like foggy looking and it was not cute. So I am refilming this right now. So we're gonna go through the two bins and yeah, let's get started. Let's see what's in my stash for wedding paper collections. Luckily, it's just two bins that I filmed um, before I realized and I went to go edit and it wasn't like one of the super long ones um where i have a lot more in my stash so all right here we have the wedding bliss collection and i already organized everything so now it's all organized so here's the wedding bliss collection from echo park this is from 2017. um this is one of my favorites mainly i mean i haven't crafted with the whole entire collection i don't think yet but i or maybe i did i can't remember I know I had another one of these collections and I used the She Said Yes Cut Apart because I used that on my engagement album. Sorry, I'm shaking you guys. Um, however, I want more of just that cut apart. So what I did notice after I filmed this video the first time when I was looking for more, um, Echo Park does have the single sheet of those cut aparts on the website. So I'm going to go ahead and order a bunch of those sheets because that's like my favorite cut apart for like engagement albums especially so if i ever want to make an engagement album even with any other paper in my stash i want that to be on the front cover okay so that's the wedding bliss from 2017. there is another wedding bliss collection you guys are going to see later which is 2020 version it's different from this it's more pink this is more peachy and it doesn't have like the the kind of like what is this like a taupey kind of color it doesn't have that you guys are going to see that later um so that's that so far i have the happily ever after collection from simple stories and i have a lot of this paper this is not just one collection kit here but this is one of my favorite collections and i actually used this to make my engagement album um, for the most part the only thing i used from the other one was that cut apart but this was the front cover of my engagement album and I just love that. So I have like five sheets of those. Um, yeah, so this is a really pretty collection, but I'll show you guys more in detail in the six by eight right here. Let me find an opened one. So these two are both closed. Oh, here we go. Here's an opened one. So happily ever after from Simple Stories. Really beautiful, fun wedding themed collection. So yeah, and that's what that looks like. Um, I also have a lot of the bits and bobs from the Happily Ever After. Um, I have the thickers. So I use some of these in my engagement album as well. But here's the full sheet, I guess. The full thickers right here. Um, I have the Happily Ever After chipboard frames. 
and that's what they look like. I never use frames though, so I don't know. Uh, we have the adhesive brads, and we also have some chipboard. Um, we have enamel dots from that collection, some puffy stickers. This is like a full, full-on collection over here, which I normally never, never do. So I think I got it from like one of the, maybe I got one of them from like the Simple Story sales that they have. I have some Dove stickers in my stash because Doves and weddings just go together. Some of these, these are from Hobby Lobby. Cute little like rings. Uh, this is also Hobby Lobby. Some like wedding themed elements you could add to collections. And a lot of the collections are pink or peachy kind of colors. So that works out well. And actually the My Mind's Eye one and this next one I'm gonna show you guys also has some mint, so that would work. And then there's this one. This one doesn't have to be wedding. This could just be an anniversary or like a love thing. Um, but I just have it in here because wedding, love, you know, they go together. I have my mind's eye. Nope, this is still still simple stories. Happily ever after. This doesn't look like happily ever. No, no. That's not right. <laughs> these uh, cut aparts do not go with the happily ever after collection. I think there's some in here that do, but these ones on the front cover do not. That's not part of the collection because the front cover or the back is supposed to be these. It doesn't, this collection doesn't have like a pink, super pink pink like that. So that's not part of it. Um, I have these Bliss enamel pins from My Mind's Eye. So the collection is Bliss. Some enamel pins. I do love this one and like these. I don't know how to use these. Would I just like, like maybe I could just use the enamel part and somehow take off the pin and then cut that pin piece off to kind of make it flat. Cause that would look super cute on a front cover. I do. And then like when you open it, it could say I do too. Um, I don't know. Now these die cuts, this is from the new collection called Wedding Bells from Echo Park. I had a die cut sheet in my last mystery box from their mystery box kind of warehouse sale. I do not have this collection though. I would have purchased it in the last warehouse sale, the not, not the mystery box one, but the one where you got to pick out your papers. I would have purchased it, but they didn't have it. Um, so when they do have it in one of their warehouse sales, I would definitely be getting this Wedding Bells collection because it is gorgeous. Um, it's got greens, it's got blues, so pretty, and it's not your typical pink um, wedding themed papers because most of them are pink themed. They have lots of pink in it. So that one is nice because it doesn't. Um, I have these stickers. These are from Recollections from Michaels, but they are just uh, wedding themed stickers so I could kind of add them with whatever whatever album I'm making so there's just a bunch of like chipboard uh, stickers there I have this collection from the paper studio got it for a dollar 49 apparently but this paper feels super duper thin granted there's only six sheets in here I think no there's ten this does not feel like 10. It's like very thin feeling paper, but it's a kit, a wedding themed kit with a vellum sticker sheet, um, some alpha letters, um, embellishments, and I don't know, gemstone sticker sheet or whatever. But oh yeah, here's the gemstones. Yeah, it feels very thin, so I don't know. Um, here is the Love Story by Craft Smart. This is a paper pad, probably an old one. Uh, 2016 um, but it's a wedding theme so it's in here see mr. and mrs. kind of paper and just some fun cut apart some florals and it has some silver elements as you can see but then the first part was gold so I could really make it for whatever silver or gold and then I also have um, this paper pad, this is called Love Letter. And I was thinking this would make a nice wedding album, but then as I was filming this the first time, it doesn't really look like wedding themed paper anymore. So let me know, would this, would you guys make a wedding album out of this? Or what does this paper kind of remind you of? What theme? Should I go with my florals or something else? I don't know. Um, I guess at first I was thinking wedding, but then as I, I was going through this, it wasn't really seeming wedding like to me anymore but I'm gonna keep it in here for now please let me know where you guys think it should go like what category um and then I could change it but let me know what you guys think
So I'm going to go ahead and put these all back. I had these kind of organized. Um, so all my happily ever after is going to go here. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys my second bin. So I'm just going to get these put away. Okay. So that was bin number one. And now moving on to bin number two. So bin number two is some other paper collections. Starting off with some extra like kind of cut up parts that I just had in my stash. So this says uh, diamonds and that's crossed off. Adventures are forever. So instead of diamonds are forever, adventures are forever, which I love. Um, even though, I mean, diamonds could be forever too, but adventures are the memories that are going to last forever. And I love that because obviously you're getting married to your partner, your best friend, somebody that you could spend your forever with and go on adventures together and just have fun with. So I love that. Um, here's the you and me. Um, just like a cut apart, some random cut aparts in my stash. This is from the happily ever after. I don't know why it's just chilling here. Um, this cute little ring and just some other cut aparts from some other collection that I had. Um, I think that was from some other kind of paper pad, but I don't think I have that paper pad anymore because this is all I got. So here's another random sheet. This is, I don't know. This is the fancy that collection. Um, oh, from my mind's eye. And I don't know why I have just one sheet, but I do. So it's in here because it says Mr. and Mrs. on the bottom. And I could probably just use like a part of it in an album. Here I have the We Do collection by Photoplay. So it has six sheets of 12 by 12 double-sided paper. So there's only six sheets in this collection. But there's some ephemera and some etched dies, which I didn't even realize it had dies until now that I am, I guess, going through this. I mean, I realized it in my first part of the video, but now I'm just saying it again. Um, well, the first part you guys don't see, but you know, if you guys get the idea. It's my second time filming it again. So here I also have a card kit from the We Do Photo Play collection. And for some reason, oh, we got more etched dies. That is gonna be a D stash. Okay, I could take that out. We don't need that. Um. Oh, this is in some kind of... Why is this in a bag? Oh my god, is there two in here? Guys, I think there's two in here. But that is something I did not realize in the last video I was filming. Oh, so we have another collection kit. So we have two collection kits, two of the card kits. Those could come in handy, but I don't need two of the etched dies. So I will be getting rid of... Uh, one of these that say dream us love forever together that is the same ones as the other one right yeah so I don't I don't need two of those but I might need two of the ephemera die cuts so I will keep that part all right I have another card kit here so I guess we're going to be making some wedding cards as well and I really do want to make some wedding albums this year I already pulled um, one of the Wedding Bliss collections, which I haven't even shown you guys yet. I already pulled one out, so I'm leaving this on the side because I want to craft with it. It's a mega kind of bundle, and it's from Tuesday morning. Cute collection, so I want to craft with it, so I pulled it out already the first time filming this. But I do have more in my sash, so you guys are going to see that. Um, I have the Always and Forever by Simple Stories. So I have some sheets from this. Um, and this is like the sticker sheet. So I have cut aparts also. And I love that they do these cut aparts. Like you get so many awesome cut aparts. But I wish there was one that said she said yes, but there isn't. So I really do have to get some more of that other one that I shared with you guys. Um, I also have some clear stickers. And then here is the always and forever papers from Simple Stories. And I think I may have gotten this as part of one of their like warehouse sales because this does not have any kind of clear packaging or bag. Oh, you know what? We're gonna use that other clear bag that I just found two collection uh, kits in from the photo play. So I could do that. But yeah, just quickly showing you guys what this collection looks like. So it's very neutral. I find that a lot of wedding papers have pink in it. 
So it's hard to find like that new one that has the blue and the green, which is really nice. The wedding bells. I do like that one a lot and I want to get it. Um, and then it's hard to just like find ones that don't have any pink at all, which would be um, this one. Uh, so I am going to put that in here. Keep it nice and safe since we have this extra bag. And now I could also put all these other goodies in with it. And I will not be using all these cut aparts with just that collection. Um, I will use them for other things because, you know, you could do that. But I will keep them in there originally. And then, like, I'll have to craft with this um, and use up some. And then whatever I don't use, I'll use in some other kind of collection. Uh, I also have the My Mind's Eye Best Day. So this is the stickers. And it just has a bunch of sticker sheets. See, now you guys see some of those minty colors that I had in that first bin with the Paper Studio kind of collection. Um, I do have two of the 6x8 paper pads. So let me show you this one because this one's open. So like a quick little flip through. And you can see this one's very pink and minty colors. And this one doesn't even have to be a wedding theme. This one could just be like a lovey-dovey theme. Um, or it could really just be neither. Like you don't have to use... There's not that many specific papers to wedding except for maybe the cake. Um, yeah, like this cake maybe. And which other paper? Maybe the hearts. But I mean that could be anything. That could even be Valentine's Day. Maybe the diamonds. But like... A lot of this you could just use the other side and it doesn't have to be wedding. Um, I also have some ephemera. So this is what it looks like. One of these is actually the Bliss Collection. And then this one is the, um, I think this is the best day. And this is Bliss on the right. So I have those ephemera pieces. Then this is the Our Wedding Collection, which you guys are going to see the 6x6 six six in a second. Um, but I have some larger single sheets. I do not have a 12 by 12, but I have four of the Our Wedding 6 by 6 paper pads. So I'll have to make something with this as well. And you guys could see this one also has like the pink and minty colors. So I have one, two, three, four of those. I have one of these. This is the Wedding Collection by Echo Park. I have a 6x6 Mega Pad. So this one has, I think there's some solids in here. Oh, that's a pretty paper. That ring paper is so pretty. And that's like the Happily Ever After one, except that one was in gray. And this one has a black background. You know what? When I go to place my next Echo Park order for those cut aparts, I'm going to see if they have just that single sheet of I love it when it has the rings on it. I just love it. Um, the frames and tags from the wedding day collection. So actually, hold on. This one was wedding. This is wedding day. They look like they go together, don't they? The colors are pretty much the same. And this is what I mean. A lot of the collections have the same kind of colors. Um, but this is wedding day. So I do have that collection here, which you guys will see in a second. I also have the decorative brads and some chipboard. Um, I think I used some of this because it looks like I used some of it. Um, but I have two of that collection. And this is just what it looks like, the papers. Um, so yeah, that's wedding day. And I have a bunch of their chipboard. So we have a, their chipboard accents. I have three of these actually. Three chipboard accents. And the last one here is chipboard phrases. So that one's a little different, but they're all chipboard. Um, and then I have the Wedding Bliss collection. And like I said before, this one now is 2020, whereas the other one that has that cut apart that I like with the She Said Yes, that one is 2017. But I have two more of these and I had already pulled one. So I have a total of three um, of the mega bundles and they're all from Tuesday morning. And then I have this one called Rustic Elegance. This is from 2015 by Cartabella. And I have already used this in my stash. I had a couple of these or a few. I had used 
a couple, I believe. And I do have a video of a wedding album I made with my cinch. Um, so you guys could check out that project share. I'll have it linked down below. I'm also going to have as many of these collections linked down below as possible in case you guys want to get some. I don't know how many I'll be able to find because, again, um, these are some older collections. The new Echo Park one is called Wedding Bells, which I will have that one linked for you guys also. It is absolutely gorgeous. So if you guys want to get your hands on it and not wait for a sale, definitely um, do that. But it is so beautiful and I will have to get some myself. Um, so that, yeah, that is everything. Um, I'm going to go off to add stuff to my cart now <laughs> from the Echo Park website. I want to find that wedding day paper with the, with the rings on it. And um, yeah, so that is everything I had in my stash. I hope you guys enjoyed this video i know you guys have been saying that you really do like these videos because it lets you guys see like what other kind of collections are out there and maybe you guys want a different um kind of collection in your stash so i hope it was helpful or i hope you guys just enjoyed seeing what's in my stash or just enjoyed seeing and comparing my stash to yours and seeing like oh well i thought i had a lot of paper but she is cray cray <laughs> with the amount of paper she has um, anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next crafty video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.